Hello everyone. Greetings to you all in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I believe you're doing good. Welcome to another episode of Prophetic Time. I believe this videos are blessing you, helping you to come more closer to God. And those who are watching me for the first time, this is Evans Francis from Nagpur, India. I'm an evangelist and a full-time minister from last 15 years. And I believe that today's message God is going to speak to you and he's going to help you to understand how to walk with him. and we live in a time where you know everybody desire to walk with the lord but you know the chaos of this world the things of this world always become a stumbling block but i believe in this video god will speak to you he will help you understand how you can walk with god and in this video we will see uh, some uh, we will understand what is walking with god and the secrets of walking with god and what are the stumbling blocks that comes in our life uh, uh, or the stumbling blocks that are there present in our lives so which uh, enables us to walk with god and i believe this message is going to bless you immensely so stay tuned don't leave and uh, watch till the end you will be greatly blessed so without wasting a lot of time let us pray and dive into the word of god father god we come to the presence in this wonderful time master lord we come to the throne of grace i give to this word into the hand i give you children into the hand master give me the wisdom knowledge strength and courage to share your word in its context lord i cancel all the disturbances master Lord you speak to your children according to you their their uh, expectation master you know what they would desire master lord let your let your will be done master in jesus precious name we pray amen 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 when we see the life of enoch you know he singled himself out in his generation to walk with god and god honored him by not experiencing death he became a worthy example for us today in our walk with god you know today we will see you know that how to walk with god and how you can uh you know have a deeper relationship with god that is very very important if you want to live in this world uh, when we read genesis chapter 5 verses 22 it says uh, 22 to 24 it says after the birth of methuselah Enoch lived in close fellowship with God for another 300 years and he had other sons and daughters Enoch lived 365 years walking in close fellowship with God then one day he disappeared because God took him when we read Hebrews chapter 11 verses 5 to 6 it says it was by faith that Enoch was taken up to heaven without dying he disappeared because God took him for before he was taken up he was known as a person who pleased God and it is impossible to please God without faith anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists and that he rewards those who sincerely seek him remember beloved god is always looking for a walking partner someone whose heart can be after his own heart and who will only do what is well pleasing to him remember that god created man for the enjoyment of a walking com- relationship that involved companionship dialogue intimacy joint decision making mutual delight and shared dominion remember that god longs to walk with you which is why his arms of grace have been pulling you into a closer walk with him enoch was the first man in the bible who walked with god even though men began to call upon the name of the lord in the early days enoch was the first man to uncover the true delight of walking with god when we read uh, genesis 4:26 there we can see it says when seth grew up he had a son and named him enosh at that time people first began to worship the lord by name remember Enoch found something even Adam didn't experience he pressed into God until he learned how to commune with God through every facet of life remember that Enoch's example 
continues to witness to all generations of the great zeal God has to walk with man. When the zeal of God captures you, it will ignite you with a great passion to walk with God and to be his friend. As you draw closer to God, he may not likely take you up to heaven as he did to, to Enoch. However, he does desire to reveal the beauty of his face to you. When we walk with God, we enter the dimension where God unfolds the secret of his kingdom. Through Christ, we can explore the glorious riches of knowing God to a greater degree that Enoch, uh, because of the Spirit of God, uh, which has been given to us. Uh, remember, beloved, Enoch walked with God, continually conversing with Him and growing closer to Him. And in Him, we see a new kind of believer. He walked arm in arm every day with the Lord. The Lord was his very life, so much so that at the end of his life, he did not taste death, but was translated out of life. Like Enoch, those who walk closely with God are translated out of Satan's reach, taken out of his kingdom of darkness and put into Christ's kingdom of light. When we read Colossians 1.13, it says, For he has rescued us from the kingdom of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his dear son. Remember that Enoch Learn to walk pleasingly before God in the midst of a wicked society. Remember that he was an ordinary man with all the same problems and burdens we carry. He was involved in life with a wife, children, obligations and undertook all his responsibilities. He cared, he cared for his family. He worked, ministered and occupied, but he was not earthbound. None of the demand of his life could keep him from his walk with God. In his spirit, Enoch was not a part of the wicked world. Each day as he walked with the Lord, he became less attached to the things below. Like Paul, he died daily to his earthly life and he was taken up in spirit to a heavenly realm. All around Enoch, mankind grew increasingly ungodly. Yet as men, cha men changed into wild beasts full of lust, hardness and sensuality, Enoch became more and more like the one with whom he walked. Though he had no Bible, no songbook, no fellow member, no teacher, no indwelling Holy Spirit, yet Enoch knew God. Hebrew 11.5 says, Enoch, uh, before, uh, says of Enoch, uh, before his uh, translation, he had this testimony that he pleased uh, God. What is it that Enoch, uh, about Enoch that pleased God so much? Uh, it was that his walk with God produced in him the kind of faith God loves. Uh, when we read Hebrews chapter 11 verses 5 to 6, it says, It was by faith uh, that Enoch was taken up to heaven without dying. He disappeared uh, because God took him for before he was before he was taken up, he was known as a person who pleased God and it is impossible to please God without faith. Anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists and that he, that he rewards those who sincerely seek him. Remember, Enoch was a man who, who used to seek God. My question to you is, are you seeking God? Remember, it is impossible to please God without faith uh, and when you seek him that shows that you have faith that you will have a, a communion with him uh, a, an intimate relationship with him and God wants to have a relationship with you remember if the church is walking with God daily communion with him 
communing with him continually the result will be a people full of faith true faith that pleases uh, that pleases god uh, so the question arises is uh, what does it mean to walk with god uh, it can mean several things uh, the first thing is walking with god implies that the prevailing power of iniquity in a person's heart has been taken away by the blessed spirit of god uh, second walking with god implies that the person has actually been reconciled to god the father by accepting the free gift of salvation through the precious blood of jesus christ uh, the third point uh, walking with god implies uh, that the person has an abiding communion and fellowship with god in regular prayers uh, praises and meditation in the word of god and walking in total obedience to it uh, the fourth point uh, walking with god implies uh, are making progress in the divine life uh, living victoriously above the dictates of the flesh and overcoming sins and pollutions uh, uh, in the world uh, the fifth point we see is uh, walking with god implies uh, yielding one's life as a vessel unto honor for various services in the kingdom of god so we can see these are few of the a few of the definitions that we can understand uh, what it means uh, to to walk with god uh, now the question arises is what is the secret of it uh, remember there are certain things we need to know and do regularly to ensure our sustained healthy relationship with god uh, the first thing is uh, walking in the spirit uh, that is first of the, one of the secret of walking with god is that you walk in the spirit uh, remember that god is spirit and we cannot relate with him in the flesh uh, remember that walking in the spirit is so vital to what god wants to do and it will enable the believers not to fulfill the desires of the flesh when we read galatians 5:16 it says so i say let the holy spirit guide your lives then you won't be doing what your sinful nature craves so first thing is uh, the secret is uh, of walking with god is walk in the spirit the second secret is fix your heart to please the lord only not minding who will be displeased remember that if you begin to walk with the lord you won't have to worry about giving up your friends they will give you up first remember your love obedience and loyalty to god must be given the highest priority above that for any other person or possession so it is very important that you fix your heart to, to please the lord only not uh, thinking what it can uh, displease someone else uh, or uh, what people will think uh, so you have to live in a way that pleases god not men you cannot sail on two boats you cannot serve two masters you have to live in a way where only god will be pleased uh, another secret of walking with god is uh, being strong against the devil at all times uh, most of the people they are strong against the devil when when they are fasting and praying but we should be strong against the devil at all the time you know first peter 5 it says stay alert watch out for your great enemy the devil he prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour remember the devil hinders and interferes uh, in relation to our walking with god uh, satan uses his forces and oppressive spirits to hinder us from walking in the spirit uh, to overcome him you must be strong in the lord when we read how you can be strong when we read ephesians 6 10 to 12 it says a final word be strong in the lord and in, in his mighty power put on 
all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in the dark world, and against evil spirits in the in the heavenly places. So one of the secret uh, of walking with God is you have to be strong against the devil at all time. Not only in the morning, not only in the noon time, not only in the evening or in the night, uh, but all the time, 24-7, 365 days, you have to be against him. You have to be strong and uh, be against it. Uh, another secret of walking with God is uh, be prepared to obey his word at all cost remember there are a lot of things uh, when i share uh, on youtube on social media you know it becomes very tough some i know that people is people are going to dislike it people are going to question it uh, but you have to obey the word when god shows me something when god uh, reveals me something when god uh, speaks to me something it is my responsibility to share it with the body of christ it doesn't matter he has told this before it doesn't matter the reasoning because every time when god shows me a dream i reason with myself uh, uh, should i share it or not should i share it or not what will i write how it's going to take place but the moment i start to write about it uh, everything falls in its places in beautifully and i feel that god wanted me to write this uh, god wanted me to share this uh, but devil will always uh, you know bring a negative thought or a or a thinking that uh, is it important but remember if you want to walk with the lord the secret is you have to be prepared to obey his words at all cost when we read james chapter 1 verses uh, 22 to 24 it says uh, but don't just listen to god's word you must do what it says otherwise you are only fooling yourself for if uh, you listen to the word and don't obey it is like glancing at you your face in a mirror you see yourself walk away and forget uh, what you look like uh, remember the apostle is reminding us of the tragedy of not being a doer of the word the secret and this secret was given to joshua for him to be successful in life and in ministry when we read joshua chapter 1 verse 8 it says study this book of instruction continually meditate on it day and night so you will be sure to obey everything written in it only then you will prosper and succeed in all you do so you have to be obedient to the word what the bible says you cannot go left and right uh, if god speaks to you through a word of knowledge uh, if god speaks to you through the word of prophecy you have to first discern it first john 4 1 test it is it from the right spirit and then when you are confirmed when the holy spirit confirms you do it that is very very important uh, another secret of walking with god is uh, exercise unconditional love towards other and follow peace with all it is very very important uh, that uh, we live in peace uh, with our neighbors with the people will with we see the brothers and sisters in christ it is very very important remember no one can see the face of god unless he first love the people around him and be at peace with them when we read uh, hebrews 12 14 it says work at living in peace with everyone and work at living a holy life for those who are not holy will not see the lord so it is important that you live uh, a holy life uh, and uh, you show love to everyone you do everything in love that's the word of god says uh, that do everything in love and love is very important if you can't love uh, people whom you see if you can't forgive people whom you see you are a hypocrite if you say that i love god 
because you have never seen him or witnessed him uh, remember the another secret uh, of walking with god is maintain a regular healthy personal devotion with god that is very very important uh, you need to pray without ceasing praise him regularly and meditate daily in the word of god when we read first thessalonians 5:17 it says never stop praying when we read uh, psalm 55 verse uh, 17 it says uh, morning noon and night i cry out in my distress and the lord hears my voice uh, so it is very very important that you have a personal relationship with god on a regular basis uh, you pray continuously you just don't pray once in a week you don't just pray only few minutes but always be in touch with god uh, have a healthy personal devotion with with him that is very very important uh, another secret of walking with god is grow in the grace of humility you want to walk with god you want to hear his voice you want to uh, know his will humility is one of the key uh, secret key for that uh, remember no one can effectively work with god unless he can humble himself uh, god will not want a proud person around him but will always uh, resist him when we read james chapter 4 verse 4 it says you adulterers don't you realize uh, that friendship with the world makes you an enemy of god i say it again if you want to be a friend of the world uh, you make yourself an enemy of god uh, remember it it is very very important uh, that you humble yourself uh, you just don't show humbleness uh, but you live in a humble life uh, and the more you humble yourself uh, you will see how god increases you how god uh, elevates you and you will see his hand uh, work uh, in your life uh, uh, and another secret of walking with god is seek to glorify god at all times uh, that is very very important whatever you do you start it with god end it with god above all do it with god and uh, do it for to glorify him that is very very important to uh, remember that god created us for for his own glory and he wants to enjoy the glory maximally without sharing with any man remember that every step we take in life should be done with god in mind and we must be willing to allow him to take all the glory when we read first corinthians 10:31 it says so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do do it all for the glory of god remember if eating and drinking can glorify god how much important will be your uh, ministry how much important will be your spiritual life how much important your professional life how much important will be your uh, uh, studies uh, your relations your marriage uh, uh, the, the your friends how much important it will be if eating and drinking can just glorify god how much important are these things uh, so these are few of the secrets to walk with god uh, but now we have to see the stumbling blocks uh, you know to walk with god what are the stumbling blocks devil brings in our life uh, what things becomes uh, stumbling blocks that hinders uh, our relationship and intimacy with god uh, that is very very important to see and the first thing is uh, unconfessed sins uh, you know this becomes the stumbling block to walk with god at all times uh, we must confess our sins unto god and receive the assurance of his forgiveness uh, if we are to walk with him effectively when we read psalm 66:8 it says if i had not confessed the sin in my heart uh, the lord would not have listened uh, 
we need to have an attitude uh, of uh, repentance life uh, we, every day we need to repent every day because we sin in our thoughts knowing or unknowingly but we have to keep on repenting for our sins uh, so that we will be sensitive to sin the lot of people they are not sensitive to sin because they don't repent uh, they think because 30 years back they said a prayer it's fine but you need to repent uh, and when you talk to a person when you when you speak to a person you know a repenting man will be a humble person and you will see that uh, uh, in your life uh, the second uh, stumbling block is unbelief uh, and uh, lack of faith uh, or doubt uh, if you if devil brings unbelief in your life or lack of faith or doubt uh, that becomes a stumbling block uh, for you to walk with god devil will ask bring questions is it really god is it yourself is it uh, the world is it your friend uh, so he will bring unbelief he will bring lack of faith uh, so remember when he asks uh, he must believe uh, and not doubt uh, because he who doubt is like a wave of sea blown and tossed by the wind that man should not think he will receive anything from the lord remember james 1 chapter 1 verses 6 and 7 says but when you ask him be sure that your faith is in, in god alone do not waver for a person who divided with uh, with divided loyalty is as unsettled as a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed by the wind uh, such people should not expect uh, to receive anything from the lord uh, as we read in hebrews 11:6 uh, without faith it is impossible to please uh, the lord uh, remember when devil brings unbelief in your life and devil brings lack of faith or doubt in your life is it really god can really god you need to be uh, very careful and you know remove such negative thoughts brought by the devil and uh, and walk with god that is uh, very very important uh, another thing that uh, deliberate uh, disobedience uh, to god uh, is uh, Uh, that brings a, a stump that becomes a stumbling block uh, to walk with god is a deliberate disobedience to god uh, you know many times we keep on sinning knowing it's a sin deliberately disobeying disobeying it is very very important that you obey god uh, do not disobey god if you know it is not the will of god if you know a percent in your heart that it, what you are doing is wrong stop doing it uh, remember that each time we deliberately walk in disobedience uh, to a clear instruction from god uh, we are denying his lordship over us and this will hinder our effective walk with him when we read first uh, john 3 21 to 23 it says dear friends uh, if we don't feel guilty we can come to god with bold confidence uh, and we will receive from him whatever we ask uh, because we obey him and do the things that pleases him and this is his commandment uh, we must believe in the name of his son jesus christ and love one another just as he has commanded us uh, remember beloved our obedience to him is the acceptable evidence of our love for him because john 14:15 says if you love me obey my commandments uh, so it is very very important that don't uh, sin deliberately don't live a life of disobedience deliberately and uh, another reason that becomes a stumbling block to walk with god uh, is keeping malice uh, bitterness and unforgiveness uh, remember if we keep malice with people and uh, do not forgive those that offended us uh, our walk with god will be hindered uh, when we read matthew 6 chapter 6 verses 14 to 15 it says if you forgive those who sin against you your heavenly father will forgive you but if you refuse to forgive others your uh, father will not forgive your sins uh, 
when we read Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 it says uh, instead be kind to each other tender heartedly forgiving one another and another just as God through Christ has forgiven you beloved it is very very important to have a forgiving heart if you have love you it is it becomes very easy for you to forgive uh, a person it is important that you forgive a person and another reason for to for us for some stum to be uh, another reason that becomes a stumbling block uh, in walking with god is keeping idols uh, in our heart and in our lives uh, remember whatsoever we cherish uh, above god is an idol in our heart uh, and whatsoever we give the first position in our lives uh, become an idol unto us uh, when we read ezekiel chapter 14 verse 13 it says son of man these leaders have set up idols in their heart they have embraced things that will make them fall into sin why should i listen to their request uh, so I remember that anything you cherish above god anything you give importance above god anything you do that uh, gives more priority above god uh, that is an idol in your heart uh, so if you have idols in your life uh, it doesn't have to be a literal idol but this small small thing sometimes ambition becomes an idol sometimes our dreams uh, uh, and uh, what we want to become uh, becomes an idol uh, in our life so it is sometimes some sometimes a husband becomes an idol sometimes a wife becomes an idol and sometimes children becomes an idol for everything you know i have heard parents saying children 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 you know what about god you need to know and learn how to have a balance uh, uh, with everything that is very very important another reason that uh, becomes stumbling block to walk with god in walking with god is not being grateful and lack of thanksgiving remember god wants us to be grateful and give thanks to him in all times uh, over every situation in our lives uh, but when we ignore this our walk with him will be hindered uh, when we read first thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18 it says be thankful in all circumstances for this is god's will for you who belong to christ it's very important that you have uh, a thankful heart uh, a grateful heart uh, a thanksgiving heart uh, it is very very important it shows your walk with the lord you know i know people that you whether you do something small also for them you know they will be flooded with thanksgiving that shows their uh, their uh, walk with the lord because they have a grateful heart they have a thanksgiving heart uh, and uh, last point uh, uh, that uh, becomes a stumbling block uh, in walking with god uh, uh, is not being faithful in church attendance and participation remember beloved that god gave us the church for our blessing and for our spiritual development so that our lives will be pleasing to him and our walk with him will be effective when we read hebrews 10 chapter 10 verse 25 it says and let us not neglect our meeting together as some people do but encourage one another especially now that the lord that uh, the day of his return is drawing near remember there are many people who neglect this and they just go to church on good friday easter Christ and uh, christmas but uh, these are the christians who have done ecg easter uh, christmas and uh, good friday but we need uh, a believer who will go to the church to what no matter the cost whether it rains or it is too hot uh, whatever might be the situation no no compromise with going to church that is very very important uh, remember if we don't attend church service regularly and don't maximize the blessing of our spiritual growth and development our walk with the lord uh, will be adversely affected uh, 
it is very very important uh, that you go to church have fellowship with brothers and sisters in the christ uh, remember beloved that god desires that we have a healthy and effective effective walk with him at all time and if we do it shall be for our blessings and uplifting and for uh, for his own glory remember we need to understand the secret and put all of them into practice and all also do everything that the holy spirit will guide us to do at all times so uh, remember that we also need to recognize all the stumbling blocks in our lives and avoid them through the grace of god and with the help uh, of the holy spirit uh, so i believe this message has blessed you remember that uh, you need to walk with the lord it is very very important to uh, enoch uh, walked with god uh, and when he walked with god uh, you know he could uh, overcome all the uh, all the the desires uh, and the sin of the time and he could have a relationship with god and he could overcome all the barriers in that time and he was a normal person like you he was not uh, anyone special but uh, remember if you want to walk with him you know you need to play your part you can't expect god to come all the time and talk to you remember you need to build that relationship you need to wait with anticipation and you need to live with him that is uh, that is a uh, very very important i believe this message has blessed you let us pray father god we come to thy presence in this wonderful time master lord we come to your throne of grace thank you for all the good things you have done in our life master thank you for always being with us taking care of us and providing all our needs according to your riches and glory even though we are not faithful towards you many times but you are always faithful towards us for that we thank you abba i give your children into thy hands their lives into thy hands master lord i know that they have a desire to walk with him master give them the wisdom and knowledge its strength and courage master to to walk according to the word they have heard master and may they walk with you as enoch walked with you master and may they witness your hand of power provision and protection over all the areas of their life master no plan of the devil no plan of the evil one prevail upon their life master lord uh, every stumbling block brought by the devil uh, in between their walk with you uh, with you master be removed in the name of jesus every obstacles be removed in the name of jesus uh, lord may they walk with you master may they may they have a intimate relationship with you master give them the burden to have and desire to walk with you master may lord give them a desire to hate sin master give them a desire to remove everything ungodly that is taking their time that they should spend with you and they should be lord give them the strength uh, uh, to overcome all the all the obstacles brought by the devil all the wrong connections be removed from their life in the name of jesus master every sickness every disease uh, every addiction brought by the devil be removed from their life in the name of jesus every sort of sinful activities uh, every uh, every uh, sinful uh, activities like lord they do like to do uh, like uh, lord whatever they do master be removed from their life in the name of jesus master i set them free from every type of addiction in the name of jesus master lord uh, every wrong connections every wrong people every wrong person brought by the devil in their life be removed in the name of jesus master lord i speak uh, to their bodies master to be healed uh, and lord may they experience inner peace your peace in their life master and lord may you speak with them master lord may they experience your love joy peace and lord may they experience you in reality may they hear your voice master 
may they experience your companionship master may they have the, the desire to have an intimate relationship with you master and lord you're doing it for that i thank you master heal them master every issues in the brains be removed in the name of jesus master every issue they are uh, every neurological issues lord uh, your children are facing master lord be healed in the name of jesus master let it be removed from the life in the name of jesus every spiritual blind blindness every spiritual deafness brought by the devil be removed in the name of jesus lord you're doing it for that i thank you lord you're doing it for that i thank you no plan of the devil no plan of the evil prevail master i set them free in the name of jesus master lord give the desires of the heart master lord help them to walk with you master may your angels guard them and protect them master lord may the right people locate them master may the destiny helpers locate them master and lord all the evil schemes of the devil be removed be destroyed be exposed in the name of jesus lord you're doing it for that i thank you in jesus precious name we pray amen 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 i believe this message has blessed you if this message has blessed you see to it that you share this message with your friends and loved ones and if you're using an android phone or an apple phone you can download my app app name is evans francis and if the lord leads you become a pillar of fire or a pillar of cloud of our small ministry and the links are also there in the description below you can get the details about uh, uh, my website uh, and my whatsapp number uh, feel free to get in touch with us and uh, and uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel do subscribe hit the bell icon so whenever i come live i share a video or a post a dream from the lord a vision from the lord a message from the lord you will be notified may god bless you may his face shine upon you stay blessed keep smiling shalom